how are you all today we are going to start further topic of genetics mendel's work we discussed many terms there were two terms were left i will give explanation of these two terms let's take first one clone before starting explanation of this term you must have studied about reproduction we have two kinds of reproduction basically sexual and asexual my dear students i taught you in case of sexual reproduction there is a involvement of two partners there is a formation of gametes but in case of asexual reproduction there is no involvement of partners and there is no formation of gametes so whenever we have sexual reproduction two partners are there male and female this is the sign of male and this is the sign of female they have the process of gamete formation gamete they fertilize and then we have the formation of zygote so whenever we have gamete formation i taught you there is a very important process that is known as crossing over we have in sexual reproduction whenever we have gamete formation we have a process that is known as crossing over please recall first chapter i taught you in first chapter cell division there we discussed about meiosis and there is the one step where we had crossing over crossing over i will remind you again it is the process of the exchanging of genetic material and it will lead to recombination whenever we have the mixing of genetic material we have the formation of new combination and new combination will lead to the variations we know that one we discussed many times that is the reason behind we are different all human beings are different due to this process only that is known as crossing over this process is responsible for the causing of variation i hope you have understood when we have asexual reproduction i taught you there is a involvement of only single parent there is no gamete formation and when there is no gamete formation there is no crossing over in case of asexual reproduction there is no crossing over and there is no uh, that is exchanging of genetic material and whatever progenies are formed they are exactly like parents and these progenies we call clone that is a simple one carbon copy identical copies are known as clone of springs next one is of springs the result we are talking my dear students after the fertilization we have the formation of zygote and then zygote will develop and we will have the new life that new life we call offspring so these were two terms were left now we will move to the mendel's work first of all we should know few very important points about great scientist mendel although he was not a biologist he was mathematician he was interested in mathematics he was a priest in a church and 
due to this he had to take care about the premises of church he was very curious man and he started cultivating in that premises he started cultivating garden pea that is paisam sativum and he started observing about paisam sativum he got that paisam sativum is having seven distinct traits and after the observation he started thinking about how characters are transferred and that was the first thought in the mind of mendel mendel we have the starting of genetics and he was the man who led the foundation of this branch although it, nowadays it is a huge branch we have a maximum of the researches in the field of the medical science everywhere we are talking about genetics he was the first man who thought about this process that is why he is considered as father of genetics although his work was not recognized after the death of the mendel his work was rediscovered there were three scientists de vries corens and tesmark these three scientists when they observed mendel work they were surprised they were amazed they were very happy because they got the pattern how characters are transferred from one generation to next generation that was a very great work was done by mendel having no recognition and after rediscovered mendel got fame there is a reason behind about no recognition because all the concept he taught it is completely unconventional because he used mathematical formulas mathematical interpretation and it was very tough for the scientist to understand mendel's work because it was the first time any scientist attempted in the field of the biology mathematics expression of the transmissions of characters but where we have a great work that time has come of recognition mendel got recognition everyone appreciated after the rediscovery of mendel work there was a huge success of mendel work due to the selection of the garden pea and uh, we have a uh, various reasons we will discuss one by one let's take first of all about contrasting trait see this word again contrasting trait i already yesterday i taught you trait is character characteristics we call trait in mendel's work contrasting means opposite it means when there is tall the next one should be doer contrasting means just opposite try to understand there is no median situation no middle situation okay we have this one seven contrasting trait which was seven distinct traits i already taught you first one is shield shape and that is round is dominant and wrinkled is recessive so whenever we have the experiment of mendel we should understand you should know that one there is know that one 
they will not show about which is dominant which is recessive you should imbibe these contrasting trait that's why i want your focus here seed shape round wrinkled round is dominant so you should write here d and yellow is recessive that is r dominant recessive will take later that next one is seed color yellow and green again yellow is dominant and green is recessive then we have flower color that is purple and white purple is dominant white is recessive same way that is pod shape that is we have full and constricted pod color also green and yellow and then we have flower position axil and terminal axillary position you should understand here i am drawing this one this position is axillary axil this point is axillary point and whenever we have terminal terminal means that end point so terminal when we have to show that is terminal point so flower this is axillary position and this is terminal position that is axil position is showing about dominancy and terminal is recessive and the very common you must have used this term stem height whenever we talk about height we have tall and because we are talking about recessive and dominant we have dwarf as well contrasting trait so these were contrasting traits which was studied by mendel he studied he gave his principle in the next video will take mendel's work with some important terminology of genetics let me explain you about why mendel got success because he selected garden pea so what are the qualities in garden pea we will have to understand so garden pea it is a short life span you must have studied about annual plants biennial plants perennial plants annual plants are those who are completing their life cycle in one year annual you know the meaning of this word by means two so by biennial plants are those plants who are completing their life in two years and perennial who are taking many years to complete their life cycle so pisum sativum it is having short life span and we know that if there is a short life span we can get result early if Men if mendel had selected any perennial plant he would not have got result early that was the first short life span short life span that was the first reason of success and there is a second reason very common because i taught you he was a priest he has a place around the church and that place was easily used by mendel to cultivate pisum sativum because it is very easy to cultivate pisum sativum so cultivation is very easy and then this pisum sativum is having a unique quality for self pollination it can do self pollination and cross pollination can be done that is a very important and unique quality of garden pea so whenever mendel wanted cross pollination 
he could done this one that was easy one and cell pollination was the natural quality of pisum sativum so these are the some characteristics i gave you for the pisum sativum and that was the biggest reason for the success of mendel everyone please focus on these terms contrasting trait you need to understand to understand genetics clone i taught you of spring i taught you and then we should know about the great scientist mendel i gave you many points try to recollect all the points he did a great work in the field of genetics and he got recognition after his death and his work was rediscovered by three scientists in the next video we will be discussing about some basic terms of genetics